Search and rescue teams are continuing their efforts to find survivors of flash floods that swamped eastern Kentucky. At least 19 people, including six children, were killed when torrential rains dumped as much as 10 and a half inches in just two days. Kentucky's governor warning that the number of dead could rise sharply as emergency crews struggle to reach rural areas that are among the poorest in the country. Meteorologist Mike Seidel from our partners at the Weather Channel is in Hindman, Kentucky, where many people are still missing. Mike, good morning. Good morning, Dana. I'm in front of the Troublesome Creek, so aptly named because overnight Wednesday night and into Thursday morning, six inches of rain fell in three hours. It came rushing down all these mountainsides and hillsides in eastern Kentucky, and the creek went from where it is now up to the top of the bridge. The force of the water brought this SUV, flipped it over downstream. Many of the residents had little time to react, and this morning, the search and rescue continues for the unaccounted for. As the floodwaters in parts of southeastern Kentucky began to recede, the extent of the damage became clearer. Right now it's looking like we're not going to be able to save it. Entire towns have been flooded, roads destroyed, and major infrastructure, power, water, and cell phone service wiped out. There's nothing really that you can do, but, you know, we're just glad that we got out. Crews have already rescued nearly 300 people, and many more are still unaccounted for. Governor Andy Bashir toured the region by helicopter and later warned the death toll will go up. From everything we've seen, uh, we may be updating um, the count of how many we lost for the next several weeks. Floodwaters triggered by torrential rain surged through the small town of Feynman, inundating the elementary school and leaving it under a thick crust of mud. Classes were to begin in less than two weeks, but not anymore. The school is, is kind of the heart where everybody comes together, and so that's, it, it's hard. Kentucky is just one of several states left reeling from severe flooding. Monsoonal rains washed through parts of Nevada, soaking unlucky gamblers on the Las Vegas Strip. Scientists say climate change amplifies these storms and the damage they leave behind. In Kentucky, recovery will be slow. We're going to grieve with you. We're going to support you, and we're going to be here for you, not just today, but tomorrow and in the weeks and the, and the years to come. Right now, there's still nearly 20,000 customers in Kentucky without power. Combine that with the flash flooding, and some water systems are still not up and running. So the governor has rushed plenty of drinking water to those affected areas. The best news of all in several days is... All right, Mike Seidel there in Kentucky. Thank you very much.